We have had team coverage of these storms over the past 24 hours that have moved through our area and southern Nebraska. Yeah, our news crews were in Deshla, Nebraska last night where heavy rainfall completely flooded several streets. Take a look at this video. As the water began to rise, some residents tried to board up their homes. And for one man, the current proved to be too much. He was almost swept away. Our Jenna James joins us now live with the video you're only going to see right here on 6. And Jenna, some incredibly dramatic moments yesterday down in Deshler. There was a lot of dramatic moments, including one that one of our own crews had to face. Our Don Gernice was actually in Deschler for almost all of yesterday afternoon. During our 6 o'clock newscast, he actually had to move inside because tornado warnings started going off in the area. But he wasn't the only one that was put in harm's way. Now, there was another man, as you said, who was trying to board up his house and he became trapped. We're told the man was actually stuck in flooded waters and the current was too strong and he became he started to get swept away. Now, that man and was able to make it back to his home where he waited for crews. We talked with Hebron Fire about what it's like to perform these types of rescues. But do you ever get used to having to, you know, go out in a, you know, a wetsuit and roped up and everything like that? Did you ever get used to it? Yeah, it's a blast. That's why we do it. It's fun. If we didn't enjoy it, we wouldn't be doing it. Now back here in the metro, thankfully we didn't see anything quite like that. We are along the big Papillion Creek down here. Take a look at how fast the water is running. So a uh, good day today to not go out on any of the rivers or anything like that since there is such strong current out here. But again, uh, no issues really that we've seen either on the roads this morning. Not too much flooding that we've gotten. So Dave Cerise, we're very lucky here in the metro. Nothing like what they saw down south. Yeah, nothing yet, but still a lot of rain to come. We'll keep yeah. our eye on that situation over the next 24 to 48 hours.